And this seminar doesn't accept the work of the Holy Spirit. But I lay hand on the students of this seminary. And I brought change, spiritual change to some of these people. But the traditional church just didn't like me. And later, I, later I had to leave the churches. But I said, it doesn't matter. Because I seek God and, you know, seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be added to me. And I believe that God must have a way to open a way for me and to bless me and use me greater. After I left the traditional church, now I went through some difficult times. But eventually my ministry went higher and higher. So what I'm saying is, do not be afraid of losing whatever it is. When you are, when you are bold for Jesus, God is happy with you, and He'll bless you. Okay, now, in other words, Romans 15, 18 to 19. There it says that I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading the Gentiles to obey God. By what I've said and done, by the power of signs and miracles through the power of the Spirit. Stop. Now this verse is very important. It says that Paul led people to Jesus by what he has said and done. And what did he do? By the power of signs and miracles through the power of the Spirit. That means miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I have done this a lot. I have many experiences to share. When I do evangelism, whatever the problem is, when they tell me, I will tell them, some incident I have helped someone in with the same problem. One time I pray for someone with uh, breast cancer. And she says she had pain for over a month. When I pray for her, I told her to be free. Now it's important that when I pray for you or when you pray, to be free. She was, she was willing to move around and hire Jesus to be very free. And then suddenly she was filled with joy. She says something dark left her breast. And then the pain went away. And then she said, you know, the pain has gone. And when she went home, she checked it with the doctor. And the, and the, and the doctor said the cancer has gone. Now, there are many incidents that I have. One time I saw someone in a hospital. He was having chemotherapy. He said he had great pain. And then I asked him, is it okay that I pray for you? He said it was okay. And after I pray, I asked him what he experienced. He said, I don't feel pain anymore. I feel comfort. 
And then I told him about Jesus, Jesus' salvation and led him to, to Jesus. And I also told him how to pray when he goes home. Now that was the only time I saw him. A few months later, his daughter called me. He said, my father said he saw you in a hospital a few months ago. And then when you prayed for him, he felt comfort. And then when he went home, he had pain again. And then he prayed again. And then the pain went away too. And then he said, Jesus really works. Yes, And you know, I believe that he has really believed in Jesus. And a, and a daughter said she found my card in the remain the things that remain uh, that uh, came from his father. So she called me to ask me to do the memorial service. And now, now there were two sisters. So I said put this cell phone on speakerphone and I told them both to stand up and I'll pray for them now this is something I do all the time on the phone I've driven out demons from people on the phone I pray for healing for people on the phone after the prayer, I asked them what they've experienced. And one daughter said, I felt very light and I felt like floating up. And then the other, and then the other daughter said, I've experienced the same thing. And they both believe in Jesus. And later they both went to my church and were baptized. Now, you know, if you have courage and also have the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you keep praying every day. Keep loving God and keep having the heart to please God. God will give you anointing and you'll be surprised when you pray for people, people will experience the Holy Spirit. Now, which we will do in, in a short time before the time ends. Okay, now, uh, one more verse is. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. Now, in verse 2, it says that I know nothing among you except Christ and Him crucified. You might know this verse. But then in verse 4, it says that. My, my preaching was not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith may not rest on man's wisdom, but on God's power. So these verses tell us that Paul's ministry is with the word and also with the power of the Holy Spirit and healing. You know, many churches have given up on miracles. But in Mark chapter 16, it says that preach to the whole creation the gospel. So it means that all the time in the New Testament time when we preach the gospel, the promise of the miracles to follow everyone who believes is still true. Mm. 
Uh, chisu wizo choku wanti wetubo li amaru ya marunji Agenji liya kristo Eri ama gano vitu kumelela Gachari, gadala, miyotiza Eri ama gano Now the people are trained to pray for people They continue their miracles If you continue their miracles You have much faith in God And then you find that your life will go higher and higher And you can also raise up people to serve God in your church Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to be carrying the power of God? Mm, yes. Okay, now I tell you the process how you do this evangelism. Experience God evangelism. Okay, the first step is to try to have a conversation with someone. First step, write this down. Write this down. First you listen to them, don't talk too much, just find out more from them. Okay, and respond to the feelings and the needs and difficulties. So if they say, I'm unhappy, what can you say if they say, I'm unhappy? Some Christians will be very fast to teach. Many Christians will say, what did you say? He's saying, someone will say, hey, how can you be there without joy when Jesus came with it? Some Christians will just say that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So many Christians will say, pray and you have joy. But the person is not ready yet. The first thing we want to do is to have empathy. I know it's tough. Difficult for you. I know it's not easy to be unhappy. So to, to feel his feelings. And then, you know, and then we can ask them more about, you know, uh, what made you unhappy. And so that we can build up the relationship and respond to the needs and the feelings. And then, after this conversation, we can say, we can share with them number two. Number two. Number two. Now, you write this down. This is very important. And tomorrow, bring your notebook too if you didn't bring it today. Now, So number two, we can share with them how we had similar problems and then after prayer it went away. Or someone else has similar problem and then they pray and then the problem went away. And then number three, he invite them to pray. Is it okay that I pray for you? That God will bless you. If the person is willing, we can ask, is it okay that I lay hand on you? Now when we lay hand, don't put weights. Don't, don't put weights like that. Don't, don't put weights like that. Just lay hand on them. Just barely touch. 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 Just Now many times I prayed for people I did not move them. They were swaying and they thought I was moving them. 
have to show them again. I said, I'm just touching you. I did not push to let them know it's the power of God. And I want to let them know it's the power of God. And then I open my heart to God. It's very important in a prayer. And a prayer is very important that we worship God in the whole spirit. Now, Jesus said, worship in spirit and in truth. So the whole spirit worship God. Including our soul. Now write this down. Our soul includes the mind, the will, and the feelings. So so first, the whole mind, so when we pray, the whole mind agrees that God is very, very good. And then the will, I want to give my whole life to God. And then the feelings, let me ask you, if you see ice cream, are you happy? Or if you have ice cream, Sara, Mama. Or if you have ice cream, the other one loves ice cream so much. Sara. Now, when you see when you see someone you like, do you feel happy? Now let me ask you, when you think of God, are you happy? Now, some people are a little happy. Some people have no feeling. Some, some people say God is too far away. But I hope you will say, God is so good, I really like God. You know, I like God all the time. When, Whenever I think of God and I like him. <laughs> <laughs> The joy Lord will keep coming. <laughs> Let me say this. At least as much as you like ice cream or like your friend, like God at least to that degree and even more. Eh? Why do you know why I got ice cream? I got a mukama. Now you talk about how come you're going to have bimbo? Suka wo, umagalenga chita wo. So when you see ice cream, what am ice cream? Wow, ice cream. Or is that you can't go to my nyabo? But I'm better to get a cold, to get a cold. When you think of God, you say, "Wow, God is here." Oh, he's not quite enough. Man, I'm coming. I'm going to worry, worry. I hope you will be like that. And that way you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit easily. Or one no, or just when you meet one more, one more, yo. So the mind, the will, and the feeling. And also the spirit. In Psalm 103 verse 1. All that is in me, praise his holy name. Now look at me. All that is in me. Uh oh. Praise his holy name. Ah, <laughs> From the whole being. Oh. <laughs> now when you learn to be open, your spirit is open. Anytime you open your spirit, the joy will come. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
that's the key to being filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the key. We saw this one. We just we just saw one. So when you pray for someone, don't just when you pray for someone, don't just say many words. Don't be too wordy. Do it like this. Oh, Jesus is so wonderful. Oh, yes, Jesus is here blessing us. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Oh, where are you today, Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Bless me. Say prayer of grace that God is blessing us. God is with us. God is blessing us. And then our prayer of worship. Is God is with us. And then our prayer of worship. Is God is with us. And then our prayer of worship. Is God is with us. We need you. We hold on to you. I like you. And you notice I use words many pastors don't use. I will say, God, I like you. 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 I need you, Jesus. I want you, Jesus. I lean on you, Lord. I like you very much. Oh, it's a joint God. I hope you have this intimate relationship with God. He is the best friend. And he's a supernatural friend. Who can help you with everything? He has all the blessings in his hand. If you all love God so much, Uganda will start to receive blessings. Uganda because, because he's a supernatural and loving God. You know, your Love for ice cream or love for your boyfriend or girlfriend will not bring that big red blessing. But your love for God will bring big blessings. So when you pray for people, your whole mind, and when you pray yourself too, the whole mind say, God is so wonderful. And Everything God says is true. That's the mind. And the will. No I give my whole life to God. And then the feelings. I like God. I enjoy God. I enjoy being with Him. And then worship in the whole spirit. Now, it may be hard for you to, you know, the whole spirit worship God. It takes time to learn it. But you can start with like this, crying out to God. Hallelujah. With a happy heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, <laughs> yes. I love you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> so, Holy Spirit, cry out to God. I will tell you. 
If you are willing to love God like that, your life will never be the same. Let me tell you, when I became Christian in 1970, God continued to bless me. As soon as it became I became a Christian. I start telling my friends, my family members, my schoolmates about Jesus. Everyone I get in contact with, I told them about Jesus. And then I also start to give tithe to the Lord when I start to work. And I want to be a minister to serve God and bless other people. And then God opened the way for me. Someone said to me, do you want to go overseas to study to be a minister? At first, at first I did not take that seriously. But the person came after me and said, why didn't you give Sammy the information? And then I did it. And then eventually I got one bachelor degree in, in a Bible college. And two master's degree in a seminary. So God opened the way for me. I came from a very poor family. There's no way that I would have the money to do that. Now with God, everything is possible. Yeah. Now whatever God does for you, I don't know. But you really go home and you love God and say, God, I love you, I like you. You, you find your life go higher and higher. Okay, now, just now, just now I talk about how to lead someone to Christ. Point number one, just now was conversation and listen to them and respond to them. A conversation and listen to them and respond to them. That's and then number two, we share our, our similar experience or someone else's similar experience and how they got healing from God or blessing from God. Number three, we invite them to receive prayer from us. And then number four, we pray for them. When we pray for them, we pray with the whole spirit. And then after the prayer, we say this, after we say, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. And then we will say this. Now please say it after us, two sentences. First sentence is, please keep your, keep your eyes open, uh, closed. Please keep your eyes closed. Now say it. Uh -huh. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Say it. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Say it. 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 Say now, if they, now this is important, then you ask them. Now say it again. Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Have you experienced anything in your heart and over your body during the prayer? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So when a person says, I experience peace or burdens go away, or comfort to the body, then you use the Bible verse I just told you. 
And then you tell them, God has blessed you like this. Would you like Jesus to bless your whole lifetime? And you uh -huh. tell them that say after you. Yesu, 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 now, if they say yes, <laughs> then we tell them that, you know, Jesus is Son of God and He's God and He came to the world to die for our sins. And Jesus' name is very powerful. In Jesus' name, we can cast out demons and pray for the sick and they can be healed. And then when we come to God, we need to repent of our sins. Because God hates sin. When we have hurt other people, when they have lost when we have adultery, when we have stolen, and when we have made people unhappy, can we ask Jesus to forgive us now? And He'll forgive you and con will continue to bless your whole life. And then we'll lead them in a prayer. Okay, now I ask you to say this prayer with me. Okay, now, does one person want to come out? I will demonstrate this method. Okay, one person want to come out? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, okay. okay. Now, now we come to the point when I pray. Okay, we come to the point when I pray. So when I pray for him, I would say, please keep your eyes closed. So can you move on? Me, me, oh, my prayer go. Will you stand there? My children, no. You move on. My children, is a maso go. Think of Jesus. No, what's up? Yes, you can't cut it. Think of Jesus now, blessing you. No, what's up? Yes, you can't cut it. They are going to stop. And then I'll say, okay, I'm going to lay hand on you now. You move on. I'm going to push back. You can't cut it. And then when I lay hand, I love the Lord. But push back. You can't. So can I go and get a man? Thank you, Jesus. Where are you? You love us very much. Come and bless him. Be with him. Help him with his need. With his problems. And maybe with his unhappy feeling. Lord bless him. Be with him. Take away his burdens. Let him know God is very real. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to die for our sins. To give us eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being with us. Come bless this friend. Take away his burdens. Give him peace and love and joy. Bless his future. Bless his whole life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything in your heart and over your body? Yes. yes, okay. What have you experienced? Come again. 
relieved and comforted. Okay. Yes. So you felt relieved and comforted. Very good. You know, the Bible says that all you who are weary and burdened, so tired and burdened, mm. and then God will come to you and give you refresh. So I that's what you experienced just now. now. So God took away your burdens. Do you want to live your whole life like that? That God would take away your burdens. Now, do you also feel some comfort over the body? You know, Jesus also come to bless our body and give us health. So, so this is is Jesus so real? Yes, do you want him to bless your whole life? Okay, that's very good that you're willing. Now we want to appreciate that. They said yes. And then we explain the gospel. You know, the Bible has many prophecies. The Bible has prophesied that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, will come to the world to die for us. To give us eternal life. He will forgive all our sins. And one day we can go to heaven. When we confess our sins and trust in Jesus as our Savior, are you willing to pray with me okay, to ask Jesus to be your Savior? Is that okay? Okay. Now I say one sentence and then you all say it together, okay? Now you can all stand up together now. Dear Lord Jesus, Everyone say, Yes. Everyone say, Can you say enough English to follow me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Say English, okay? Yes. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. During the prayer, during the prayer, I can experience you. I can experience you. Take away my burdens. Take away my burdens. To let me know. To let me know. You are real. You are. You are really God. You are really God. Please bless us. Please bless us. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I have sinned against you and against people. I have sinned against you and against people. I have been angry. I have told lies. I have told lies. I have hurt people's feelings. I have lust in my mind. Please forgive my sins. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Give me, please give me eternal life. And bless my whole life. And then I'll follow you. I love you. Love and obey you. And obey you. Be a child of God. Child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We love you, Jesus. Love In you. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, have you sincerely prayed this prayer? Yes, now you have, then God has blessed you and He has entered your life and you're now a child of God. Praise the Lord. And then, I want to tell you a simple prayer. I want to tell you a simple prayer. <laughs> then you can tell other people. A simple prayer. Okay, you, should, now you, you pray with me. You can all pray with me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus please forgive my sins and give me eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A very simple prayer. Jesus, forgive my sins. Give me eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And then teach them to pray this. So, now, do you remember this process? Of leading someone to Jesus? And then if the person is a Christian, we can tell them, now, I pray for you to experience the Holy Spirit and you have experienced the Holy Spirit. And then in the future, you can pray for other people to experience the Holy Spirit. And and you can be used by God. Are you willing to be used by God? 
And God will bless you. So we can ask people, are you willing to be used by God? To raise up the spiritual life. So this way, we can raise up the spiritual life for people. So it's, it's not just for evangelism, it's also for raising up people's spiritual life. Okay, now right now, uh, there are many of you I pray for this morning, and then what you will do now is to pray for one another, practice. And then the way you do it is like this. You face the other person, you just touch. And then you say simple prayers. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Please bless this person. Give him peace. And give him love. Take away his burdens. And then you can also sing. And after the prayer, you say, Remember? Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything? And if the person doesn't understand, you can say, have you experienced any peace and joy? 